if you are working on restoring your health imbalances and your hormonal imbalances, you are transitioning to a healthier side of you. And as you are doing so, you will go through conflicts and challenging stages in your life. So in today's video, I've got an expert who's going to help you do so. Let's get started. Hey, hey, Yulia Tabith here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist at RawsomeHealthy.com. And today I've got beautiful Diane. Diane is an expert in nonviolent communication. Welcome, Diane. Thank you. And we've got a little story. We actually met many years ago, nine years ago mm -hmm. in Ecuador. And today we're reunited again in England. Exactly. So I am going to be asking Diane to share some insights. So Diane, the usual process for people that they go through is sometimes sometimes women are ahead of the game mm -hmm. in terms of growth mm -hmm. and they might feel that I really understand that I need to change my lifestyle that I need to change my diet but they are surrounded by people who just don't get it who don't understand it yeah. and then they might start to bring them down and they might just start seeing them as you know competition almost and mm. a threat mm -hmm. to them so how can how can people do that in a loving non-violent way mm. well first of all um for me it's it's really about self-compassion you know just uh, when you have challenges or um, challenges in, in your relationships people that, that, that they don't understand you you know like first we try to uh may, maybe uh, convince them or we try to to like uh, we are fed up or angry because uh, uh, people just they, they don't get it you know what we're going through yeah. so for me the first and most important job here is to welcome ourselves with compassion and what that means it's sometimes you know just to remind of the stimulus what is really reacting us is it like a sentence that we heard people saying oh you know I don't know what you're doing right now but you you know you have some kind of uh, health uh, problems and blah 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 so just like be with the stimulus for a while and sit with it so and sit just, with that discomfort just sit with the discomfort where it where does it sit in your 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 body and try to see how do you feel in your heart also? Mm -hmm. For me, feeling is really, really important just to acknowledge the feeling. So for example, it's about um, uh, uh, feeling the sadness, feeling the discouragement, or feeling the anger, the frustration, and just seeing where it sits in the body. Mm. And then, all our emotions are really, really important. They're like signals, signals that are telling us something. They're not here just to, you know, to be mean with us or they're really here so that they can, we can learn, uh, we can self, how do we, how do we say that? We can know ourselves, you know? Yeah. So the more that we acknowledge our feelings and the more they give us a clue on the needs that are not being met at the moment in our life. Maybe it's about acknowledgement. Maybe it's about appreciation. Maybe our needs for understanding is not being met. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, um, about empathy and openness. And uh, so loneliness, I guess, as well, as well. You, so, you might be feeling lonely so that no one is understanding Totally, you. exactly. So if you're lonely, it means that you have a need, a need for to share, a need to, to a need for maybe community, a need, you know, so it's really important that every emotion is giving us a clue about the need that is not being met at the moment. Yeah. And when and self compassion, self empathy is really important for me, because when we identify the needs that is not being met at the moment, we can. I'm. I'm we say in online communication that we can mourn. Mourning is to feel the sadness when certain needs are not being met in relationships, yeah. for example, or in our life. Right. And I can imagine it can be tough to sit with that feeling yes. because it's not something that we do we're afraid of that feeling we want to run away from exactly. it exactly we won't because you know it's, it's not, uncomfortable it's uncomfortable yeah. right and uh, emotions are are here 
to, to so, so that they can be felt you know and the more um, I think we, we, we get used to sitting and, and, and being present with the feeling and to me what really helped me was breathing breathing in just feeling maybe close your eyes feel what's going on in my body what's the sensation and and really like even like open my chest you know like with breathing and being with the feelings and the needs that are not being met and for me feeling the sadness of the the, the, the needs that are not being met at, at a certain point in our life yeah. is really very healing for me because it gives me it's like I'm holding myself you know it's not I'm not searching for someone else but I'm really being with mm -hmm. myself and present and then when I can uh, acknowledge the need that is not being met for example if it's if I feel lonely then I need some uh, to share I need community and maybe it's not the, the, the we, we think that we have to share with with these people or, or or this member of the family and maybe it's with someone else mm -hmm. so just to acknowledge identify the need mm -hmm. and then for each need there are many many strategies many solutions that we have to embrace a need and so when we really identify it we can say oh maybe I can I can meet my my need my need for sharing or my need for community with um, with some friends maybe with uh, someone someone else that I don't a know and that could uh, a coach or someone else that uh, maybe a friend that I could ask hey could you just listen to me without answering anything for maybe ten minutes just being in silence so that I can just express what's going on in me yeah and. Um, so I find that for, for one need, there are many, many solutions to answer that need. And we just have to be creative, you know, yes. you know, so. And I can imagine that a lot of people, so let's say someone wants to change and she knows that's what she needs to do. She's been diagnosed with hormonal imbalances like thyroid disorders and PCOS and overweight and estrogen dominance and her, and she understands that this lifestyle is the right one to adopt and yeah. her husband says no you need to go to a doctor the doctor yeah. will help you yeah. and if that person doesn't go through that deep journey of no no I feel that's what I need for myself mm -hmm. because she's afraid of exploring that yeah. vulnerable part of her then that transformation is not possible not only on the health level because yeah. she needs this lifestyle yeah. but also on the emotional level totally. as well and understanding totally, totally. yeah so self-compassion for me it's the first key, you know, in order mm -hmm. to, uh, and then you can try to understand the other person. Maybe the other person, the husband has fears, you know, and he needs like some protection, security. He, he wants to contribute to our well-being, you know, like the best he can. So the more we give ourselves this self-compassion and the more we can have like uh, ears to understand others also and know what are they feeling and what are they needing also. Yeah. So it's really like the, this uh, a beautiful exchange about listening to myself, my feelings and my needs, and also going and welcoming with compassion the feelings and the needs of others. Yes, and it's that desire. Okay, I understand I'm, I'm stepping into my vulnerability right now and I'm embracing it yeah. versus, wow, this is so scary, I won't even go there. Because how are you meant to, how are you meant to discover your true whole self without and balance and heal your true whole self mm -hmm. without going there because yeah. that's exactly where you need to totally, go totally <laughs> for your healing embracing vulnerability for me yeah. is is really like the most important part of it you know and and sharing it with others even uh, if we're scared sometimes we're scared to share a vulnerability yeah. because we fear that the other one will react in a weird way will reject us will not welcome what how, what how we are at that in the in that present moment you know mm. and this fear of not being welcome for me is uh, is really is really scary you know mm -hmm. and yet it's it's really even if it happens it's really about embracing again the 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 the, 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 the emotions maybe disappointment yeah. and maybe oh i so wished that i was welcomed here in this situation yeah. and yeah. feeling the sadness of this 
uh, need that was not being met. Yes. So. And healing it. And right? healing it. Healing, healing it. it and healing, healing it. it. And <laughs> healing it. Totally. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank You're you, welcome. Diane. Thank you for this. Is, this was a really deep conversation and I hope it helps you understand that true healing is more than just a diet, more than just a workout in the gym. It really does encompass your spiritual well-being, your emotional well-being, your mental yeah. well-being and all these uncomfortable emotions and feelings and yeah. thoughts and understanding them and that's how it's just going forward. So Embracing all that we are, right? Yes. Physic, Excellent. emotions, mental... We are really like take, taking care of all this, yeah. So I've got a question for you. Do you embrace vulnerability? Is it something that you're willing to step into, explore and heal? Or is it something that you hide from? So let me know in the comments section. Is it something that you embrace or is it something that you hide from? But you, you don't want to hide there anymore. You do want to actually know how to go through it and uh, go through it in a graceful way. So. Let me know in the comment section and thanks for watch so for watching this video i'll link this video to other videos that uh, that are going to be beneficial for you and i look forward to catching up with you in the next one thank you so 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 much You're Diane. Welcome, such Julia. a beautiful deep subject and yes. so so nice having you here okay eat sweet keep fit see you again in the next video Bye bye <laughs>